It's been a while since I shared the last studio vlog with you. The last thing you knew, we had just moved to Veggies, Switzerland, and summer was turning to fall. We had tons of big life changes going on and coming up and, well, fall even turned to winter before I posted another studio vlog and before I tell you more about some of those major life changes, here is a quick reminder. I did that spontaneous sale of my stickers and some of the original artwork on Instagram rather than setting up like a big professional shop and kind of doing it how I had intended to do it. I decided, nope, I'm going to try just kind of at the last minute let's try to get some of these sold before i do have my child and it worked um, obviously it wasn't a ton of artwork that i sold but it was really nice to sell that via instagram and i knew i had to get it out pretty quickly um, to make sure that all of that would happen before the birth and so the little town that we lived in had quite limited post office hours so i took this boat that you just saw an hour to Lucerne and got it out just in time. And then, yes, obviously one of the absolute life-changing highlights for us in 2021 was the growth of our family. The fact that we did have our baby at the end of that year was incredible. I really don't have words to describe it. And as you know, all of that means that there was a much bigger focus on personal goals in 2021 than I had maybe anticipated at the beginning of the year. But I did say I would share a goal update with you in 2022, and I'm finally getting to it. So what I wanted to show you was basically my journey for my YouTube channel so far. My goal was to get monetized in 2021, and I didn't, <laughs> but... Um, I got pretty far, I think, with only posting 12 videos in 2021 because my plan was to, um, well, post one a week and obviously that didn't happen for the reasons I just mentioned. So I think this is a lot of progress. I got to 690 subscribers that year and 1,500 watch time hours and a lot of that honestly was thanks to YouTube um, and it's function as a search engine. Um, if you go back a few seconds, you'll see that bright blue line that just kind of takes off. And that is one of my videos being picked up by the algorithm. I think it did about 8,000 views in 2021. And now it's up to like 15 or 16,000. And it's funny to say, oh, 15 or 16, like a thousand isn't a big deal or a big difference because most of my videos get like 100 views. So yeah, a thousand plus minus is actually quite a big deal, but that is how much that video has taken off. So honestly, a lot of it has been work that I put in, but just as much luck. So if you are on this journey, hang in there. You never know what next video might just be one that really takes your channel further. So um, now I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers, not quite 950 something at the time of this recording. And I still have like 2,000 watch time hours to go. So I don't know. I'm thinking it'll be another year till I monetize, but I am trying to put more focus on video again and I'm having so much fun creating now that I am in that healthy state where um, I feel I can take it on. And let's jump back to share the last few kind of weeks, months of everything that is happening. Some days were like this and some days were like this, <laughs> which was actually stunning, like to live right at the Schneegrenze, like right where the snow kind of stops coming down from the mountains. It's a beautiful thing to see. And uh, I just love it. It looks like powdered sugar, doesn't it? But yeah, these were our last days in Veggies. Again, sometimes we were really blessed with sunshine, like here on my birthday. This was the terrace of our rented short-term apartment. And it was a lovely time. Such a now, yeah, just a time full of change. We were getting ready to leave Switzerland to go live closer to family. And it's absolutely bittersweet because Switzerland is one of the most beautiful lives that we have gotten to live so far. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. And as a little goodbye, I found this book in the little free library 
It's love poems written in um, Swiss German. Anything you want to say on the last week, on the last days in Switzerland? Yeah, it's been amazing. It's been a great chapter in life. I'm a little sad, but I'm also excited for the, the next experience in Germany. Goodbye, Switzerland. <laughs> At our next destination, we were so lucky to be welcomed by sunshine and the feelings of spring. We just hit that perfect timing for our arrival. So now we can tell you where we ended up. Want to tell them? You can tell them. This is off. I haven't had that much time yet to film around town, but here are just a few tiny impressions. So we are now in Düsseldorf and well, I have a new little YouTube background as you can see, which is super exciting. And I don't know how permanent it's gonna be honestly because this room is office slash future baby room slash art studio slash everything else we don't have a room for <laughs> so I don't know how dedicated the space is going to be but I'm super excited because we got to paint the wall this stunning color I just feel like it's so grounding and rich and beautiful and I'm going to be able to create some artwork for you here and it's the first day I've been filming in probably a month and I've done a million takes for different videos trying to kind of batch intros and um, yeah, now I'm gonna batch some painting. Since we moved here, I have had the creative impulse and the support to really start back into creating artwork again. I'm sure you've seen some of these. I made a whole separate video that I launched last week about how to create gifts out of your artwork. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll also see that I have been experimenting with different ways to capture my art photographically versus just scanning it in for the feed. And after that, I started participating in a little art challenge. Um, this is well, this ended up being like my first contribution to the challenge. I'm not even sure if I'll able to do uh, step two and three, but I'm really happy that I got to start because it got me in this wonderful spring and Easter vibe. And I really like how it turned out actually. And look, I created this little Easter egg as well. That was, well, yeah, just to give my child one little painted Easter egg a year, I want to start a new tradition. And talking about tradition, I wanted to share this old kitchen closet with you. I have been so in love with it for years and years and years. It used to be my grandparents, and now it lives with us here in Düsseldorf. And I'm just showing off my favorite cups that are made by artists. I'm so in love with ceramics right now. And that's also why we purchased this at the local flea market. It's actually in Dutch, not in German. But, oh, I fell so much in love with it when I saw it and thought it was just a perfect match for that old piece of white kitchen furniture. And, yeah, since I was already in the Easter mode from all my artwork, then I went and found these little baking forms, which also my grandparents did traditionally, or my grandmother. Every Easter she would bake us this little lamb, um, and I think the little bunny, too. So I went and found those forms yes. and I made it myself. It looks a little burnt here, little but burnt, um, you can just kind of take those pieces off oh, and so it tasted it actually break. really nice. And it was just so nostalgic to do it. I'm really glad and plan on also doing that every year. So I hope you had a happy Easter if you celebrate.